This video is sponsored by iFixit. The PlayStation 5 uses liquid metal in its cooling system. The Xbox Series X does not. Today, I'm gonna make things a little bit more even and fair by replacing the thermal paste that comes in the Series X with liquid metal, and then we'll test it and see if it makes any difference at all. So how this is gonna work is I'm going to start up the Series X and take some temperature and noise measurements, and then I'll get it torn down, replace the thermal paste with liquid metal, and then I'll redo those tests and compare the measurements. I'm first gonna take the measurements just in the dashboard, and then I'll start up a game and play it for about half an hour and retake the measurements, then we'll get it apart for the liquid metal. And I do need to note that the ambient air temperature in this room right now is 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. And the decibel level in the dashboard is 27.8. Now I'll take temperature measurements using an IR thermometer. First temperature measurement is just gonna be shining down in through the top of the case. This will pick up any of the hottest components and the maximum temperature is 103 Fahrenheit and 39 degrees Celsius. And now I'm just gonna use this same thermometer to go all around the outside of the case and just pick up the hottest temperature we can find. And the hottest temperature on the case is 97 degrees Fahrenheit or 36 degrees Celsius. So just testing the output air using a thermal camera, getting very similar numbers that we saw using the IR thermometer. And then up here, I'm guessing right about here is the motherboard. And right up here is the heat sink. Now that we've got some baseline numbers, I'm gonna start up a game and play it for about 30 minutes. And then we'll do all those tests again. And now it's been about 30 minutes, let's check all the temperatures again. First of all, we're gonna get a sound reading. And we got 27.8, exactly the same as the previous measurement. And temperature at the top of the exhaust vent. And the max temperature was 129 Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius. And the hottest part of the case was 113 Fahrenheit and 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's interesting that up on the case, these hot spots are actually cooler than they were when it was just in the dashboard. So that fan's really pulling the heat out of this thing. So now it's time for the best part. Let's get this thing apart and install the liquid metal. For this disassembly, I'll be using an iFixit ProTec toolkit. This is one of my favorite all around toolkits that iFixit sells because it's got all sorts of prying tools as well as a bit set that has pretty much any bit you're gonna need. iFixit makes some of the highest quality precision tools out there and their warranty is also one of the best that I've found. If you wanna get your own toolkit like this, or if you're just looking for a smaller one or a bigger one, you can find that at ifixit.com along with repair guides and teardowns. So I'm gonna be needing a security T8. Now this Xbox Series X I've actually had a part before. This one I fixed in my video where I bought a lot of five of them and tried to fix them. And this is one of the ones that I fixed. Now you might be asking yourself, what's so great about liquid metal versus thermal paste? And what it comes down to is liquid metal is just way more thermally conductive. Most thermal paste has a rating of around 12 and a half watts per meter Kelvin, whereas liquid metal has a rating of 73 watts per meter Kelvin. So that just goes to show how much more thermally conductive and efficient liquid metal is versus thermal paste.
And here is the thermal paste we're gonna clean off, then we'll install the liquid metal. So I need to clean out all of this thermal paste in between these little chips down here. I need all of this to be completely clean because I'm going to be applying some silicone conformal coating that will coat all of these chips and make it so if the liquid metal gets on them, it won't damage anything. Okay, and that's looking nice and clean. Now to apply the coating. And this is what I'm using for the conformal coating. I'll link that in an Amazon link in the description. It will be an affiliate link, so I will get compensated if you use that link to purchase something. And while the APU is drying, I'm gonna prep the heat sink and get the liquid metal applied to it. It is important to note that liquid metal will corrode aluminum, so that's why you only use it on copper heat sinks. I'm just gonna dab a little bit right on the middle here. Oop. That is definitely too much. No problem though, we can suck it right back up. There we go. And now I'm just gonna use the applicator that came with the liquid metal to spread it all around. I'm just spreading it where it's going to be contacting the APU. Okay, that looks good. Now let's get to that APU. And same thing here, just a tiny amount. And you guessed it, the perfect amount of liquid metal. And now that that's done, it's time to put it all back together and see if it makes any difference at all. Now let's get it hooked back up and start testing. I'm gonna let it sit in the dashboard for a couple minutes and then we'll start testing the temperatures. So the ambient temperature in the room has gone up two degrees to 79 degrees Fahrenheit and 26 degrees Celsius. Decibel level is exactly the same at 27.8. And the max temperature is 88 degrees Fahrenheit or 31 degrees Celsius. Once again, we'll test all around the outside plastics and max temp is 29 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna start up the same game, play for half an hour, and then we'll test the temps again. And we're at right at 30 minutes, so let's start checking the readings. Decibel level is exactly the same, 27.8. So no matter what we've done to this console so far, it's always the same amount of noise. Okay, and now let's check the air vents. Okay, and the maximum temperature I see is 131 degrees Fahrenheit and 55 degrees Celsius. Before I applied the liquid metal, the maximum temperature was 129 degrees, but also the ambient temperature in the room is two degrees higher. So the temperature is just one degree higher with the liquid metal. And in the previous consoles that I've tested, when I apply liquid metal, the output temperature is actually a little bit higher. I attribute that to the liquid metal transferring heat so much better that it transfers heat 
from the motherboard out through the heatsink and through the exhaust. And it does such a better job that the output air is a little bit higher. Now, that being said, I'm no expert here. So if you have a different theory, put it in the comments below because I want to hear it. Now, let's check the hottest part of the case. And 112 degrees Fahrenheit and 44 degrees Celsius. And lastly, here is the thermal cam footage. I've seen 118 degrees and we're right about 90 degrees on that hot spot and quite a bit cooler down there. Thank you again to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching it and I hope you have a good one.